In today's video, I'll show you how to tile on a flexible substrate. Forget everything I told you about substrates needing to be rigid and sturdy. And the best part about tiling on mesh? Too many to mention. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we discuss tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Mosaic mesh, also known as fiberglass mesh. What a fun, flexible, and inexpensive substrate. It comes in self-adhesive and non-adhesive versions. I prefer to work on the non-adhesive, and I'll get to that more later. But you can do so much with this material. Tiling on mesh has allowed me to create mosaic designs that I've been able to hand over to a general contractor or a tile installer for them to complete the job. Tiling on mesh also allows for easier architectural installation should your piece be installed in a different city or state or town. You're also able to lay your mesh directly over a design so that you can tile over it and get your perfect cuts. Mesh also allows you to create mosaic designs that may continue over an edge. So you tile your entire design onto the mesh while you're on a flat surface, and then you can make the mesh do the hard work of going over the side. Or if your mosaic needs to be installed in a vertical angle, then this allows you to work on a flat surface and then install vertically later. Tiling on mesh also allows you to create adornments that are maybe 2D or 3D that will be used later in a larger overall mosaic. Mesh also allows you to keep certain materials, like let's say a broken plate or a broken tile. It allows you to keep it together so that it stays safe until you're ready to use it. Mesh also allows you to create all sorts of figures and your own substrates. And as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of fiberglass mesh. There's the self-adhesive and the non-adhesive. Both have pros and cons. The pros of self-adhesive is that you don't need your own adhesive. You just tile directly onto your substrate and also it'll make your tiling go faster and should you be tiling on a curved surface, it'll make that easier. The cons of the self-adhesive is that the stickiness will wear out over time. So then you're left with mesh that you will need to add an adhesive to. The mesh can get dirty over time whether you're working on it at that moment or whether it gets dirty while being stored. Once your mesh is dirty, the adhesive part will not be sticky anymore. And as you can probably imagine, storing self-adhesive mesh is a little challenging. Now on to the pros of the non-adhesive mesh. You can control how much adhesive you put on the back of your piece. Also, in general, it's just easier to work with and it's easier to store. And the cons of the non-adhesive are that it is a little messier because you're having to incorporate your own adhesive, whether it's weld bond or thin set. And also, yes, you have to supply your own adhesive. And it can be challenging when tiling on a curved surface. But again, I prefer to use the non-adhesive variety. Don't let that sway you though. Now I'm gonna show you how I tile onto mesh. I've cut out some small pieces of mesh here. I'm preparing for a future project and I thought I would show you what I'm doing. So for the particular project I'm preparing for, I just have uncut blocks of glass tile. These small patches are going to be part of a larger project and you'll see it here on the channel in the coming weeks or months. I have a design here on a piece of copy paper that I've taped down to my work table and then I've covered it with clear plastic wrap and then my piece of mesh. You wanna make sure that everything is taped down and secure before you start tiling.
The adhesive I'm using is Well Bond, which is what I prefer to use when it comes to tiling on mesh. It does dry clear. You can also use Thin Set. I'm basically gluing the tile onto the mesh. I'm not overdoing it with the glue. I just want to make sure that it is attached to the mesh. And this piece of mesh will eventually be part of a larger mosaic. So it might be glued onto a substrate like wood or VD board or a flower pot or a stepping stone or a tabletop or whatever. You're basically tacking your tile pieces onto the mesh. You're basically doing this to make it easier to share or transport or really make your tiling process go quicker and smoother down the road if you are incorporating this mosaic into a larger piece, especially if it's gonna be like a vertical mosaic or something really large. It also makes things more convenient should you be using your mosaic at a later date. So I've picked out my glass tile and now I will just lightly butter the back of each piece and stick it to the mesh. And now that I'm done tiling, I will let these pieces sit here for about 24 to 48 hours before I pull them away from the plastic wrap. And then I'll put the mosaic in a safe place until I'm ready to use it. For storing, you can put it on a sturdy piece of cardboard or a piece of wood or even a plate. And it's as simple as that. Question of the day, let me know in the comments if you've used mesh in your mosaic art. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload. And let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Uh, what's my third point? Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh. Let me not sound so giddy. <laughs> the... If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya.